Did, did y'all talk at halftime like we really need to come out and kind of hit them on the head and put them away here? You know, what's you know, kind of what's going on? Let's let's go yeah. ahead and put this away. Coach is always like, we have to come out with some juice. <laughs> yeah. So we have to come out with energy, and he always knows when we're not, um, when we're like down and not ready to go out there. And he told us right before we went out there that he could tell and that we have to pick it up. Carl, uh, at least after the first half, there didn't appear to be much of a Jacksonville hangover. You know, that was your kind of concern coming in. Yeah, I, I think we were able to put that game behind us. I mean, we had one, our first practice back was pretty bad. It didn't have a lot of energy. Uh, but then yesterday I thought it was a really good practice, and then today was one of our best shoot-arounds uh, that we've had all year. So I felt like we'd have a good effort. Um, and, you know, we, you know, we made a, a lot of defensive plays today, got a lot of steals. Uh, so that was encouraging Jesus, because Jesus. our, uh, you know, I thought our defense the last six quarters prior to this game was the worst it's been all season. So we just had to recommit ourselves to playing on the defensive end. Taylor, was it kind of glad to get out here and kind of get the JU thing, kind of, you know, put that behind you a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it's nice to get another win and get, a, get us all playing together again and, like, happy and just, yeah. Okay. Uh, KSU's coming up, Carl. Uh, you handle them pretty easily up there. Looks like a really good rebounding team, and this DeAndrea Sawyers really kind of took it to you guys. She did. She's been playing great since that game. Uh, she's been one of the top scorers in the conference since that game. Uh, you know, that game was really close. It was tied in the third quarter. Uh, you know, they, they came at us. Uh, really early in that game, I think they were up 2013 or something like that at the end of the first quarter where, you know, they were just dominating the offensive boards and we weren't, uh, we weren't ready to compete with them early. Uh, so that's something I think we've been doing a better job with our blocking out and how quickly we're acting on the shot, but it'll be tested in that game because they have kids that are really aggressive and quick going to the boards. And Taylor, your thoughts on Kennesaw State on Saturday? Uh, I mean, as far as last time, it came out really physical. And okay. I think that we have to be ready to come out tougher, especially tougher than we did last time. And we can't get down like we did because of that loss of tough toughness. So that's all I think it takes. Okay. Uh, Julian goes down. Uh, the Thankfully for you know for you guys and for her and I guess for us that like to watch you guys wasn't a knee or an ankle it looks like it's toes. It was toe. I, you know, I don't know how serious. Uh, obviously we didn't put her back in the game. Right. Uh, and obviously we need her. So hopefully it's uh, you know, more of a stub than something more serious. But I haven't heard any word about it yet. Erica still day day to day with a concussion. Yeah, she's she's still out until she can clear protocol and. Uh, you know, there's no telling when that'll be. Can can we play pretend like you and I sometimes do? Uh, let's say that Stetson wins tonight. Okay. And you're you're tied there to top the thing with Stetson and Jacksonville's two games back. How do you like your positioning? Well, I mean, uh, Stetson's playing great right now. So, uh, you know, we're I like our positioning and the fact that we're tied for first place and. Uh, we still control our own destiny. We also know it's going to be a, a great challenge. Uh, you know, you have to. You can't really afford any setbacks. You can't uh, get tripped up anywhere. And then, obviously, when you you know play stats in that game, could very easily be for everything. And let's play the Jacksonville thing. By the way, there's 2:22 left. Stetson's up by two. Let's say Jacksonville wins tonight. How do you like your positioning? That gives you a, that gives you full game lead. Yeah, it gives us full game lead, but still, uh, you know, it's, it's not much different mm -hmm. because let's say uh, we end up tied because they beat us. Well, they would have beaten, uh, you know, it goes down to, I think, RPI or something like that. Jacksonville's ahead, so uh, Jacksonville would probably get the one seed and Stetson and us would battle for two and three. Uh, if it ended up tied. So it's one of those things like everybody's been asking me, who are you rooting for in that game? And yeah. like, 
you can say percentage-wise maybe one would be better than the other, but you don't know how the next five weeks are going to play out. So you very well could be rooting against your own interest. <laughs> and the other thing is my rooting has never changed the outcome of a game. So whoever wins will deal with the consequences. And, uh, you know, it, at the very worst right now, we're at least tied for first place. And hopefully we can make the most improvement between now and the end of the year. I'm good. Good stuff. You had um, said you'd said earlier about recommitting to defense. Um, what what went into the what went into the game plan tonight that pulled, that uh, forced so many turnovers, got so many steals? Uh, the only adjustment we made was more effort. That was literally we didn't change any of our defensive strategies for any of the year. Uh, we we're just letting our kids know that they were going to do them or else. Taylor, did you know what the or else was, or do you even want to know? <laughs> She's been here for 100 years. She knows what, what else is. <laughs> Something you don't want to do. <laughs> That's good? Awesome. I'm good. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Thanks, guys. Uh, still 46-44 okay. stats and 140.